Hi, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today, a pivot to AI from aerospace. Boom Supersonic is a private jet plane startup. They want to bring back the days of Concorde and fly supersonic planes around the world with massive expense and inefficiency. Boom says airlines have pre-ordered their Overture supersonic jetliner. They brag how they have 130 planes pre-ordered, including Japan Airlines ordering 20 planes in 2017. Zero planes have been built. But it's only been eight years. It's early days. Boom doesn't have a great track record as an aircraft startup. There's no Overture plane. There's no fixed plans for the Overture plane. The videos are all CGI mock-ups, and some of them they've been recycling them for years. The jet engine for the Overture doesn't exist. It's not clear any of this involves an actual dollar moving for these supposed pre-orders, and that's before maybe 10 years to get their supersonic jet certified once it is built. So Boom needs just that little bit more money. Guess what bubble they decided to tap into? Go on, guess. We call it superpower. We're taking the engine that we're developing for supersonic flight and adapting it for ground power generation. This is 42 megawatts in a shipping container package with modern cloud connectivity and rapid install. That was Blake Scholl, the founder and CEO of Boom Supersonic. These wizard scheme makes Boom an AI company, so they just got another $300 million in venture funding. Boom will be selling their forthcoming superpower turbines for Crusoe's AI cloud data centers. Boom says they'll deliver the first generator in 2027, and they've already got a contract with Crusoe to deliver, are you ready? 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott. See, AI is hungry. Data centers are utterly constrained by power. Microsoft CEO Sachin Adela admitted in November that Microsoft's got NVIDIA chips piled in warehouses waiting for power. So if you can't do that, you may actually have a bunch of chips sitting in inventory that I can't plug in. In fact, that is my problem today, right? right. It's not a supply issue of chips. It's actually uh, the fact that I don't have warm shells to plug into. Ed Zitron says this is industry-wide. There's a lot more NVIDIA chips being sold than there are actually switched on in data centers. Quote, in really simple terms, there just isn't enough power or built data centers for those 6 million Blackwell GPUs, in part because the data centers aren't built, and in part because there isn't enough power for the ones that are. Unquote. Boom's turbine generators aren't anything radical. We already have jet engines running as inefficient gas turbine power generators, especially for the AI bozos. And even the old jet engines are now backed up to 2030. So if you say you can build new generators faster, you can totally get $300 million for your Neo Concorde dream, because AI is a business where you might actually make some money now, at least while the bubble lasts. The jet engine turbines are not just pumping out noise and carbon dioxide and pollution, they're only about 40% efficient. Boom says the superpower turbine will be about the same, and it's up to the customer to bring the turbine up to 60% efficient. Also to limit pollution and noise themselves. I'm sure the AI bros will get right on that one. Scholl tells TechCrunch that Boom's supersonic turbines should be, quote, no louder, unquote, than the existing gas turbine power plants, which you can only hear jet engine noise from up to half a mile away. I'm sure it'll be fine if you're not a Luddite who hates progress. I'd play you the sound of the superpower turbine in action, but there's no recordings 
because there's no prototype, because it doesn't exist. It's all plans and mock up display builds and big, big promises. But, quote, 95% of the parts that make up Boom's Symphony Engine Core prototype are in manufacturing, and testing is slated to begin in 2026. Unquote. Sounds great, and I hope Boom takes all of the iIDRO's money they can, because given their track record with not making planes, there's a fair chance this turbine never happens. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. Please forward this video to just one AI data center hater you know. Word of mouth is what Pivot to AI runs on. Hit like and subscribe on YouTube, leave a good podcast review, and please do drop just $5 into the Patreon in the show notes. We live off your support. Thank you all. I'll see you tomorrow, and bye for now. Music